Hi everyone, this is Dr. Manu Krishnan K. And in today's session, we will be discussing about an important spinal MRI finding that is the Schmoll's nodes. You might be confused on what might be the Schmoll's node actually. They are nothing but small nodular lesions which can be seen on spine MRI as a common finding. And in most cases, they are asymptomatic. That means you can have a Schmoll's node and have no symptoms at all. And sometimes in severe degenerative conditions of spinal column, we can find some number of Schmoll's nodes involved. And how does it look like? As the name suggests, it must be having a nodular appearance, isn't it? So in this particular image, we have a normal MRI on the left hand side and a small node that you can clearly see on the right side image and that is an L1 vertebrae where you can see that the upper part of the L1 vertebral body is having a nodular lesion which is black in appearance or grey in appearance. So let's discuss what is a small node. It corresponds to a herniation that is a bulging up or a herniation of intervertebral disc matter that is the nucleus pulposus, the gel like matter in the middle through the cartilaginous and bony end plate of the vertebral body of the adjacent vertebrae. And here to understand it in a better way you have to see this image where we can find the intact vertebral body and on the left side you can see how a single vertebral body has been divided into several sections. Here it is divided into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9 sections. 1, 2 and 3 constitutes to the upper end plate or the superior end plate of the vertebral body here and 7, 8, 9 corresponds to the lower end plate of this particular vertebrae and let's have a better look at it here in this diagrammatic representation you can see the vertebral body and the intervertebral disc with an annulus with this fibrous in nature and a central pulp like part that is a gel like structure called as the nucleus pulposus and in case of severe degenerative changes what happens is that the pressure that is coming upon the intervertebral discs and the degenerative changes of the vertebral body will facilitate an inward herniation that is a part of the nucleus pulposus is pushing into the vertebral body of the adjacent vertebrae creating a nodular space in the vertebral body here that is called as the Schmoll's node. And here in this image it is much clearer where you can see on the left hand image the L4 vertebrae the lower end plate or the inferior end plate is having a Schmoll's node. In the L3 also you can find a Schmoll's node on the inferior end plate and on the upper part also it have a small Schmoll's node here. And on the right hand side image on the L4 vertebrae there is a Schmoll's node on the inferior end plate while the L5 vertebral body is intact. So these are, a com these are common findings you can see on the spine MRIs and you should be well aware of the structural identification of Schmoll's node in an MRI. So if you have any 